So why and when will you need DCNM? There are several use cases for the enterprise to adopt DCNM for managing uh, his uh, network fabrics. As mentioned a few, few slides ago, some customers wish to leverage the enhanced network-centric approach to operate their the network. I, indeed, uh, some folks have a long experience with the traditional NXOS that they wish to continue to operate as is. And DCNM allows you to operate the management of uh, any Nexus devices in the legacy environment, as well as uh, all new generation uh, of Nexus uh, platforms in a VXN, VPN fabric or mix of, right? Other teams may expect to run the network with typical network transport and they wish to maintain the control of the uh, routing protocol from the uh, outside of the fab or out or inside the fabric. Uh, this includes uh, uh, routing deployment states uh, and uh, troubleshooting for the extended VPN uh, or uh, classic client that NXOS uh, provides and so DCNM supports. Um, the experience of the end user being exposed, DCNM automates the deployment of a VXN VPN easily based on Cisco best practices with the uh, options to preview the configuration for subject matter experts who can follow the configurations. On the other hand, uh, you may have limited uh, uh, experience with VXN VPN, but uh, for example, you need to migrate uh, now uh, from a classic LAN to a VXLAN VPN fabric, and you don't feel comfortable with the underlay configuration, the overlay network or VRF, uh, etc. So, even if your experience with VXLAN VPN is inexistent, or if you don't know anything about DCI, you can deploy a full multi site fabric infrastructure in few clicks using the DCNM fabric builder. And I will show you this. You may want to operate, you know, uh, different data center networks, a mix of classic LAN, VXLAN with uh, the WAN, uh, with all the same network management platform using just a single pan of glass. And uh, you can take advantage of DCNM simply to monitor the configuration that are changing on the per device basis across the whole data center from um, an external access, uh, for example, uh, uh, other than DCLM. This is available for classic LAN or for VXLAN VPN, and this guarantees you to always run the expected configuration. Otherwise, you get immediately notified with a, a visual uh, alarm. So, uh, some network managers may want to use DCNM for inventory or monitoring proper process. Uh, for example, they deployed manually or with their API management tools, uh, the network fabrics. They want to use DCNM, uh, for example, for device health monitoring, network utilizations, um, hardware resource consumption, environmental survey, uh, device availability, device features, licensing, uh, inventory, etc. Right, so that's a, that's another option. And um, again, you want to fully operate your network fabrics with uh, on your own, right? Um, this is fully supported. Uh, however, you want to take regular backups of the the whole data center or multiple data centers, including the multi-site. You can trigger the backup based on uh, a configuration change or you can schedule a backup hourly or daily, and all backups are saved in a timeline, then uh, you can review afterwards the configurations with the differences between the running configuration and your backup. And then you can select a golden backup or any other intermediate backup uh, of interest, uh, if you will, and, and restore it. And uh, the CNM, um, offers natively a centralized uh, daily operations. Uh, so in, in addition to the health monitoring and uh, network utilizations or backup and restore mentions above, uh, whatever the model of fabric deployed, uh, classic or modern fabric, you can leverage DCNM for many operations such as um, automatic image upgrade, uh, uh, RMA events and alarms, uh, you can locate and visualize your endpoint uh, 
uh, uh, life cycles, if you will, uh, the move of the endpoint uh, and the story, uh, deployed networks and uh, tenant on demand, etc. So as you can guess uh, here, the the list of use cases we we just uh, I just discussed is not exhaustive, right? And there are uh, other reasons to leverage uh, DCNM to operate your data center network, but these are the probably the most important. Okay, so um, let's go to the next uh, sections. Either you want a brief refresh on VXN VPN transport before looking at uh, DCNM itself. This is optional. You can skip this part of uh, VXN VPN if you already know it, or you can watch the next sections that uh, demonstrate uh, the DCNM user interface. Thank you for watching.